Hey friends, welcome back to my makeup wardrobe. Today's video is kind of an exciting one. So I, for the first time in a while, I used, I mean, I, okay, I got a mystery box. I got a mystery box. I think it's my first like mystery box ever. If you don't count things like subscription boxes, like BoxyCharm. So I got my first mystery box. It's from Milk Cosmetics. Um, I haven't tried like a lot of their products. Like I do have like some blushes and I have a couple palettes. The palettes I have aren't exactly my favorite, but you know what? I just couldn't pass up the deal because my friend Millie from Bad to the Brow unboxed this. And as, she, as soon as she unboxed hers, I was like, I need to get me one of those. So I got the smaller sized one, but look how big the box is. I got the, the $25 one, small mystery bundle. This one I bought on Black Friday. Since then, I've bought two more. <laughs> so if you want to see a video on those, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but I ordered those as soon as they were like, well, we've added new products. So I got one small one again and one large one. This is heavy. Like, this has a lot of stuff in it. I'm really, really intrigued to see what it is. I haven't even removed the seal yet. So we're going to look at it together. Let's just jump right in. My voice is feeling a little better today, though. I just, I can't wait, I can't wait, oh my god. And I had to do some festive makeup with like a festive top. I just really wanted to play with like red and green together, like Christmas look, like how cool, how cool does it look? I feel really cool, I just do. Anyways, let's pop into this box. I am so, so excited. Ah. Ooh. So it's got the brunette packaging. Does that mean I got the brunette palette, you think? Dude, this is really heavy. Oh, they threw extras in here, you guys. Like there's the bundle, but then they threw like extras. Where am I gonna put this? I have no room, no room on my desk. Yeah, I got the small mystery bundle. I was like, hmm, let me see here. Okay, all right, I am interested to see okay so the first two things that i'm seeing in here are these pencils and they are all day every day ultra matte lip liners so i got two of them what shades are you in the shade headbang and foxy so one seems more like a warm toned nude and one seems more like a cool they're very <laughs> very similar let me see if i can show you oh my light's way too bright you guys can you see them there yeah, I don't know, do I swatch them? Maybe I'll swatch them. Those are creamy, ooh. Oh yeah, one's definitely like warm toned. So the one on this side here, oh, you can't even tell the difference though on camera, can you? That one's foxy and that one is headbang. I can tell the difference, I will use these. So I'm actually looking to get rid of some of my other ones, so I'm excited to have these. Just took the tissue out because I wanted to make sure nothing else is in that box. Next, I got an eyeshadow. <laughs> this is um, interesting. I guess this is from their stacks. Ooh, I don't know if that's, is it loose in the pen? I'm scared to open it, like what if it's broken? And I don't know, is this in like a case then? I'm kind of confused. I've never owned one before, so I have no idea. So this is in the shade Gun Metal, which, oh, it came out of the pan. I don't know if you can tell. I'm sure I can press it back. That's really like, it's almost a silicone feeling. Okay, how the fuck? How am I supposed to store this? There's no lid. Okay, I need to press this back in because it's just gonna fall right back out. Otherwise, it feels kind of like, you know when Natasha Denona's, ooh, I don't like this formula. I don't know. I don't know about this. That's kind of what the shade is looking like. Go ahead and swatch it. Mm. I mean, it's a really pretty. I used to use a shade from the Urban Decay Naked palette that was actually like the same shade. I think it was also called Gunmetal. I'm sure that I would use it, but I just, I don't, I don't like this packaging feel. So am I supposed to keep it in this? Because I hate that. I don't like that. Do you like that? I don't know. I do not know how I feel about this. I feel like they're just kind of trying to get rid of garbage. I don't know. 
I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I'm just like, I rubbed it off a little bit because I don't want it to get everywhere. So let's look in here. Oh, I got the palette that I wanted. Yes, I'm so excited, so, so excited. Okay, so we'll save that for last because that's kind of more exciting. So I got a liquid lipstick in the shade Rebound. So it comes in packaging like this. I've never tried their liquid lipsticks. I've heard nothing but great things. So I'm excited to try. Looks more like a pinky nude shade. I'm gonna swatch this because I will probably keep this. Okay, so let's do it here. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. That's beautiful. It's like a like a rosy pink-ish rose. It's like a rose shade. It's not red. I know against my sweater it's kind of looking red. It's definitely more like a berry rose type of color. I don't know. It smells kind of interesting. It smells like, oh my god, it smells like Cinema Secrets. I don't like that smell. <laughs> you know the vanilla one? It's like the smell of alcohol with, um, with that. So the other thing I got is the Supernatural Lash in the Beetle Juice packaging. I believe they came out with this last year. I don't know that I'm going to keep this. I'm probably not going to open it anyways because um, I'll show you like the tube, what the tube looks like because I know this packaging was really, really cool. It's heavy too. It's really, really heavy. Um, really cool packaging. Love the kind of, you know, beveled um, Supernatural melt, um, like the logo and everything. I think it looks really, really cool. I just can't use non-waterproof mascara. Like I feel like it just doesn't work for me. So I don't know. Um, it's probably not for me, but yeah, we'll see. I'm not going to open it because I don't think I'll keep it. And then I got one of their little, I guess, body highlighter things, the sex foil digital liquid highlights I got mine in the shade fetish this looks like oh wow this is it's funny because so many people I know got really really deep shades this one's actually kind of light um wait oh I only want like the smallest oh no of course I wanted like the smallest pump but clearly not so this is like pink in color I'm gonna wipe some off on a towel because I really don't need that much on my hand let me just lower the lights here so it's right there it's like a really pink toned not really a color that I would pick for myself Mm, we'll try it. We'll try it out. I'll give it a fair chance. <laughs> I'm really into like liquid highlighters. I'm sure in summertime this will look really, really good. So that was, you know, and that's something that's new. So that's kind of cool to get in here. But I just imagine that these aren't selling really well. That's just my best guess. And the last item is the palette I've been wanting for some time now. This is the She's in Parties palette. And I got it for basically like way cheaper than I would have ever paid for it so I'm super excited I hope none of the shadows are broken they're broken <laughs> I'm not even joking but like the packaging is so 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 pretty on here like look at that isn't that gorgeous I'm gonna open this kind of sideways so this first two shades I don't know if you can tell but they're they're cracked that's a really really beautiful palette. Um, I'm going to have to press those back and I think I can probably just squish them, which is annoying, but fine. Ooh, this is one of their like Mary Jane style shimmers. How boring is that? Can you even see? Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, it's kind of a boring shimmer. This is like, I guess, okay, if you wanted like more, I don't know. Their shimmers just never impress me. They fail to impress me. So Okay, so their liquid lipsticks have barely any staying power. It like literally just wiped off with a dry towel. So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, this is all I got in my mystery box. So now I'm kind of like not really sure how I feel about the upcoming ones. But we'll see. So maybe I won't swatch 
everything in that one and I'll just, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen with that. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on those two mystery bundles and I can definitely do that when they get here. Did you pick one of these up? Have you received yours yet? What did you get in yours? What was your favorite pro a product that you got and what was your least favorite? Let me know all the details in the comments below. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. We can talk about our makeup wardrobes. We can talk about what we're adding to them, what we're taking out of them. I would love to know anything and everything about yours and I hope that you join me to talk about mine and that's all for this one I hope that you guys are all staying safe being healthy and being kind and I'll see you in the next one bye